Hello, hello, uh, Punk Rockin' here again, and this time I'm going to show you how to back up your RetroPie to an image file. You can then take that image file and tuck it away on your computer, USB flash drive, or wherever you want to do it. You won't have to worry about losing all your hard work, all those grueling hours you put into your pie of retro. Um, basically, we're, we are going to take a picture of how your RetroPie is set up at the time you create the backup. So you can do this when you're finished setting up your RetroPie with all those games, cover art, music, whatever, and won't have to worry about starting all over. This will come in handy if you throw your RetroPie at your friend, it misses and shatters against the wall. Happens all the time. Well, no worries. Just go buy the hardware again, put your backed up image on there, and boom! You're up and running again. Also, you can back up your RetroPie image, so um, you can back up your RetroPie image often uh, so you don't lose any of that precious game data as well. I wouldn't do it every day, but I would go back, um, and I do go back and back up my RetroPie about once a month. Uh, that way I won't have to worry about it. I have had micro SD cards break, um, and uh, other shit go wrong, so a backup is uh, nice. This also comes in handy if you started your RetroPie in a 16 GB card, and now you have a 128 GB card or whatever you're upgrading uh, to more memory. You don't have to start all over. You can simply just burn or write the image on the new SD card. Just a quick reminder, if you do do this, you will need to run a command to expand the file system on the new card. For some reason, burning or writing a smaller image onto a larger card, you're still stuck with the original file size until you run this command. Uh, don't know how to do that? No worries. Check out my other video on uh, for the how-to on how to do that. Lastly, let's say there's a RetroPie updated, and it's going to... Uh, th I'm sorry. Lastly, let's say there's a RetroPie update, and it's going to add some new features to the RetroPie software. Always good to go back, uh, back up your image before you do this because it can break things. I have experienced this firsthand. I had all my games working on one emulator, updated the RetroPie, and it all broke. And when it breaks, it's usually a pain in the ass to fix it. So you can always uh, go back. As much as that new feature might be cool, you know, just like uh, PS4, Xbox, when they update, something breaks that's unintended can happen here uh, as well. Well, with all that out of the way, let's get to it. All right, here we are, back at the TV. Um, I'm just going to show you real quick that I have uh, these two games here. Um, Ten Yard Fight and Bucky O'Hare. And we're going to go ahead and make a backup of this image and then uh, restore it. So all you need to do here is just hit start quick, uh, shut down system. All right. The next thing we're going to do is uh, take the mini SD card out of the RetroPie, uh, put it in that micro SD card adapter, and we're, then we're going to pop it into our micro SD card reader that goes into the computer and uh, use a piece of software to uh, make a backup of it. So I will hop to the camera and uh, to the computer quick. All right, again, this is probably going to be uh, pretty self-explanatory, but uh, here's my case, and obviously you're just going to pull the card out of there might be harder or easier depending on uh, which case you have and you're gonna go ahead and uh, pop it in the case like so and then once you have it in the case like that all you're gonna do is I have one in my computer again just go ahead and pop her in there or pop it in your micro uh, portable SD card reader whatever and I'll see you on the computer all right here we are back on the computer after popping in the uh, micro SD card and your micro SD card reader. And uh, this will probably pop up. Uh, again, this is on Windows. Sorry, Mac dudes, but um, uh, Windows 7 to be exact. Uh, just go ahead and exit out of that. And then the program we're going to want to use is uh, Win32 Disk Imager. And to do that, uh, fairly simple. Just do a quick uh, Google search, and you can download it from a couple different areas here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open that, and 
it found my device. Mine is always device uh, J. So uh, hopefully it shows up for you. And what we want to do is click this folder here. I'm going to click uh, desktop and I'm going to name it. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it freshness because it's fresh. And you can uh, pick wherever you want to save it. And you're going to hit open. And it's going to save it to this path. And then uh, what I'm going to do here is um, hit read. And a file should pop up on your desktop. And it's going to go ahead and go through this process. Uh, this is basically making a backup of your SD card. So I'm going to fast forward through this. Uh, and we'll be back shortly. And then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, go through the rest. Um, yeah, sorry about that. I changed the name of the file and redid that part of the video because my recording software sucks. But uh, anyway, uh, we are all backed up now. Um, now, this right here is the actual file. Uh, you can move it anywhere you want now and you can sleep like a baby knowing all your, uh, all your hard work is safe and sound. So uh, let's fast forward a few years. You ran your RetroPie into the ground. It started on fire out of nowhere. Or, like me, you could have not been paying attention when putting in your 120 gigabyte micro SD card and got it stuck. Then promptly broke it. Um, and two, trying to get it out of there. Yeah, that was a bummer. Oh, I was so pissed. But uh, anyway, well, either way, we are here. Uh, you bought all your brands, make a new hardware, and you want to burn your image on that uh, the SD card. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. There's one quick thing we want to do. Um, I probably shouldn't have done it, but here it is. Your file will look like this uh, after it's done. Uh, the one thing we got to do is... Um, put dot img on the end of it so our software will read it don't worry about that message you just saw there and then um all we need to do now is uh put in the sd card fire up win 32 uh disk imager in the sd formatter and uh get to work so i'm gonna go ahead and launch this quick here and uh format the uh the card so uh, one second here while I grab it, I'm uh, putting it in my computer. There it is. It's in my computer. Uh, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Um, I'm going to open this again here. There it found it. So I'm going to go ahead and format this quick. Uh, just make sure it's all ready to go. And then we're going to open up win32 disk imager and we're going to go ahead and find our file i'm going to go to desktop here it is retropie backup image.img i'm going to click on that and we're going to go ahead and uh hit right and you're going to want to say yes to this don't worry about that and it's going to uh go ahead so um sit back uh relax and uh enjoy the show
right, so that's done. Uh, just go ahead and hit OK, close out of that, and uh, I'll meet you over at the TV. All right, here we are uh, booting up the RetroPie. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and show you right quick uh, that we are back to where we are. Um, hopefully you are seeing what I'm seeing. Um, now, just to let you know, there could be, a very, well, there is a very small chance that the backup could become corrupt. Um, it could have done that from the read or write. It could have done that if you copied that to another device. Such as life, sometimes it happens to the best of us. Just like dropping your nice new phone right after you walk out of the store. Man, it's happened to me and I was pissed. Uh, but if you're really paranoid about it, um, I would back up the image, use the test card to make sure the image works, and then go ahead and uh, safely tuck away the uh, image. Now you wouldn't want to use the same card either to test because man, you'd be pissed. You'd have a jacked up card and the data would be useless too. I've uh, backed up all my cards though, and I haven't had this happen to me yet, so I'm just letting you know. Uh, if it does happen, just back it up again and test, and if you're still having a problem, then the problem lies somewhere else. But uh, here we are uh, with a fully updated image with two games, back up and restored. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, let me know in the comments if you are having issues. Later. <laughs>